And then the lights that I have coming for over here, they're actually LEDs. They're gonna have a, a sequence in them. They're gonna go dee 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 dee. We'll see how that plays out when it's all done. But this looks pretty amazing as is. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to The Handyman Life. It's another beautiful day in paradise here in Arizona. And you guessed it, I am out working on Project Prelude. This is gonna be part seven. It's gonna be the episode where we get the engine mount swapped out. I think I mentioned that before that it needed it. And today I'm working on getting that done. I got the engine hoist out. I've realized that this thing is pretty low. So I'm actually gonna have to put the front up on jack stands so that the feet of the engine hoist will go underneath the car. And then if you hadn't seen before, there's that engine mount that is toast, absolutely shot. But yeah, I wanna get that replaced. I feel as though it'll totally reduce the vibration of the car as you're driving it. And that will make for a much more comfortable ride. Uh, just one of the many things that we're gonna be doing as we're finishing up Project Prelude. I wanna be able to drive this thing. I wanna be able to take it to car meets and have something cool to show up in and get back in the car scene around other guys who are doing the same sort of thing. Um, maybe they even got YouTube channels, who knows? But for now, we're just gonna keep on chugging along on Project Prelude and get straight to work. car up a little higher it's on jack stands on that front subframe and then I made sure to get the hood up a little higher using that piece of wood instead and then that way I can bring one leg of the engine hoist on this outside and then one on the inside and hopefully get this connected right where I need it to and be able to yank on it so that I can get the new engine mount all in place and everything hooked up where it should be oh yeah i got the ratchet on these ones these ones are in there tough but grab a little bit of a breaker bar from the jack and they usually pop off like that. It's just done. So I got a pile of new stuff over here. You can see we got some projects in the works. We got some new radiator hoses, uh, some other stuff. And then right here is the new mount. Let's see what it's supposed to look like in comparison to the one we took off. Don't forget the hardware in there. Cool. So here's the one that came off. And here's the one that is new. Wow, look at that. <laughs> this looks like it had been neglected for a little while after it broke. So happy to be finally getting a new one on. Right on there like that. And then we got a new nut for the top. Come on, show me what it's made of. Stella, go get in, the, go get in. Mommy's unlocking it.
<laughs> All right, so Stella just likes to be able to feel like they're driving the race car. She's like, Mommy, you drive the race car because, you know, Project Prelude is definitely a race car. Um, currently working on the truck. It kind of sucks. Hit something in the road, cracked the transmission pan. So now I'm doing, yeah, I had to get it towed home. Now I'm replacing that. But in the meantime, these two are having fun. Hey, Steph, give it your best. Burn, burn. Come on, come on, do it. Crack the door a little bit so we can hear you. Let's go. Yeah, it'll be fun. No. Come on. Come on, give it a shot. Grab that. You got to grab the shifter. Grab the shifter. Go first, second. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, what's up, guys? It's another day in the handyman life, and I'm working on Project Prelude. I don't know when this is going to end up in the series, but I definitely got to share what's going on. I'm working on the wiring for the headlights. I got the one side done pretty much, and it works great. And then I got to finish the other side. What's cool is that I got this whole front end for a Prelude SIR uh, for a really good deal on OfferUp uh, not too long ago. And it's got a lot of components that I need. Uh, for the wiring, for a few other things, and I'm really excited to be able to use it on the project. Let's get it going. So this is the front end that I got. Um, I got an absolute steal of a deal on this. You can see it's the BB-8 SIR. It's got the tag on there. And I wanna figure out how to utilize that tag for sure. I also want to be able to use this radiator. What's up, Stella? Chalk. You're doing chalk? Can I see myself? In you oh well, I mean I'm recording it right now, but it doesn't work that way. See, say hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi. <laughs> I think I said it flipped your. Oh, you guys are doing hopscotch over there. Can you show me? Yes. How does this work? Yeah, great job. Wow, that's amazing. I want to try. Can I try? Okay. One at a time. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Yeah, good job. All right, so back to this. Essentially, in order to use this stuff in any way, I just need to take it all apart. And so I'm gonna set up the time lapse real quick and I'm gonna break this whole thing down. Oh, 
I got that whole front end blown apart into all the different components. And this way I can either sell what I don't need or use what I do like that wiring harness. And I got that front lip that I'm definitely using as far as the AC condenser and the headlights go maybe that part of the ac system i don't even know if that has any value and i got this front bumper here as well with the oem fog lights and turn signals i just prefer the usdm bumper with the extra light i've got a cool plan so i think just adding more lights is cooler than the full genuine jdm front end which is what this is but this stuff goes for good money so I'm gonna clean it up and get what I can. Oh, you're working on the prelude. Actually connecting some wires now. Got it all figured out and labeled. Turn signal, low beam, AC, driving lights. And this is an extra sensor. So this is that extra sensor that mounted on the front of the car, just in the front center like that. Maybe it's an airbag deployer. I'm not sure, but I don't have this on my car currently. It came on the other front end. All right, guys, it's not totally done yet, but on some of this stuff, I'm not 100% sure on. I use wire nuts. And also towards the end here, I just want to see if it'll work. It's time to go to bed. So I just use wire nuts in some other spots. I will solder them and do it all right uh, if this works. So I think I've got it hooked up. Not on the other side, but on this side, I even have the side turn signal done. I'm just gonna test it out. Cross your fingers. All right, so the battery that I'm using is just barely charged enough to do this, but the driving light on for the side over here, the bumper, and it's also on the red there. And I'm pretty sure the halos are on. Let me turn this light off. I don't know if the halos are on or not but the red lights are and I know the halos work on this side so the battery just must be too dead but yeah the red light is here obviously this side worked before so I got this side to match now all right yeah so I tried the regular lights in the high beams there's nothing working but the driving lights so I just gotta get the battery charged actually you know what Let's hook it to the truck. All right, we got some power now. I heard the fuel pump kick on. Oh yeah, we got lights in here. Okay, so driving lights. Let's check them out. Oh, those are bright as crap now. They are working. All of them are working. Let's go. Let's go. All right, next up, regular lights. Oh, here, turn the brights off. Regular lights. Oh, I got them flip-flopped. That one's up there. That one's down there. But, oh, that one's probably the bright anyway. So, actually, that should be the regular driving light. Maybe, I don't know which one's brighter, but they're just switched. I'll switch them quick. All right, there we go. That looks cool. And then we should be able to click the brights. And then the brights come on. And try the turn signal. Got a blink. We got a blink there. Looks like the back still works. And the one. Oh, that one's blinking. And that one's blinking. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it took me all night, but I got this wiring figured out. Let's go. It's all good to go. I just gotta clean it up. 
both sides a little bit. Oh, and I have to add, the only other thing I gotta do is add this wire here for this side turn signal, like that upper one. I gotta add this into this side turn signal. That is it. And then the headlights and all the lighting is, is done. All right, so I got all the wiring figured out and I'm just soldering it all together now. So let's go ahead and get it all finished up since it's all working. So I am working on the final part of the wiring for the headlights and it's just putting in the turn signal for the fender on the driver's side. It's actually rather simple. I thought I'd show you. And so you can see the turn signal has the two wires and it comes down and I've pulled these wires out of the loom. I know that the green with the blue and this black wire are the wires from the turn signal and so I am just connecting the other turn signal that I want to those ones rather simple and I didn't even cut the wire I just stripped a little piece off and that way I can put this one in and solder it in place and then wrap it up and get it back in the loom so check it out. All right, there we go. I've got this turn signal now wired into the harness. You can see it's connected right into here. And I got it taped up in a few spots, so It'll stay right where it should. Perfect. All right, there we go. I got it running. Headlights are working. That driving light plugged in. Unfortunately, on the other side, you can see it in there, but I gotta make the harness a little longer so it'll actually reach the light in order to plug in. No big deal. I'm just going to give this a test drive around the block. Check engine light still comes on. Not sure why yet, but everything seems to check out. Look at that idle at like 800. That's amazing. Love that. Not sure if I can trust the temperature sensor. Uh, it looks like it's come up a little bit. Oh, I got a full tank of gas. I gotta see if I can run some of that out. So yeah, we got 197,000 miles. Almost 200,000 miles on this thing and it's running like so smooth. I probably will do a tune up with spark plugs and wires and whatnot, but for now we seem to be running good. clean it holy cow maybe I'll take it over to the gas station and clean the windshield gotta go through the brakes there's still quite a bit more left to do on this I suppose to make it really nice but we're making progress probably just get better the more I drive it coming up to about halfway want to make sure it stays there if it wants to go any higher we got to get back to the house and shut it off all right guys over here at the gas station we seem to be running 
really excellent right at about a thousand rpm right there the temperature is holding steady i got the hazards on so you can see how the lights look with different lighting and then the lights that i have coming for over here they're actually leds i may need to rewire them again i don't know but they're gonna have a, a sequence in them. They're gonna go dee 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 dee. So we'll see how that plays out when it's all done. But this looks pretty amazing as is. I'm loving it. Yo, what's up Snapchat fam? I'm out here working on the Prelude again. This is becoming a regular thing. And I love the progress I'm making. Check this out. yeah that's gonna be an awesome turn signal and i got the one up there blinking too that's gonna look sweet got the smoked lens to match the front and i got this wiring heart i got this extended from last night so that it'll actually reach to where it's supposed to be so i'm gonna put the bumper and stuff back on and see how this looks once i get this all done so these new turn signals need some modification before i can actually use them and this is what I'm doing. This is the plug they came with. So I'm soldering a couple color-coded wires on there. And then on the other side, I'm getting a couple of uh, spade clips, which we'll just plug into the factory harness. And then we got some shrink wrap just to protect all that. So this should work great. All right, I got the second one all done. Let's go plug it in. Oops. Just need some light over there. Alright, so this is the stock light. See the little spade pieces, they go into that stock harness. Really nice. And then I'll just wrap that with some electrical tape. Alright, there we go. So that's how that's going to be. I can go in there. And then this should pop into place. All right, guys, I got the key in. I'll just go ahead and hit the hazards. Look at that. That's great. nice hey what is up guys thanks so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it project prelude part seven came along really nicely we got that engine mount put in and i got the headlight wiring all figured out everything is coming along really great so next up is going to be that tune-up i'm going to do spark plugs wires and it needs a new battery as well and then i think i'm going to go get it registered the next video is going to be about getting the prelude daily drivable. I think that is a very good next step and that it is possible uh, with not too much more effort. Oil change, spark plugs, wires, registration, and then I can just kind of drive the thing around on the daily and see where that leads. After that, it'll be the cosmetic changes, paint job, and uh, you know maybe wrap, I'm not sure yet, but it needs body work either way. So anyway, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. And I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. Peace.